inventory for real estate is at the lowest levels I've ever seen. They might be at the lowest levels ever. Interest rates as well. They're at historic lows. And uh, that is definitely helping to drive this real estate market. And with a low supply comes high demand. And with high demand comes multiple offers. And I'm going to take a minute here to talk about multiple offers and what I look at when I am reviewing multiple offers as a real estate broker. I'm Lisa Jones, broker and owner of Vantage Point Realty. And the first thing I look at is how well the offer is written. Is it clean? Is it neat? Is it handwritten? Is it typed? Are the blanks filled in properly? Are the proper writers and addenda included with the contract? Those are important indicators to me because it speaks to the quality of the agent. The quality of the offer speaks to the quality of the agent. A uh, sloppily written offer is more than likely going to come from an agent that is uh, going to need some hand-holding along the way for sure. Whereas something where the I's are dotted and the T's are crossed speaks to me of professionalism and someone that knows what they're doing. The next thing that I look at in an offer is the contingencies uh, and timelines. Are the timelines reasonable? Are they excessively long? Contingencies, what are you asking for? And uh, how much are you asking for? And uh, I'll try and get at the why of why you're asking for it as well. And uh, those things that are, need to be taken into consideration as well as obviously the pur purchase price. The price is important and the terms are important. And when we're looking at the price, we're also looking at how is this being paid for? Is it cash? Cash is king. We all know that. And it is in real estate because a cash offer is not a financed offer. And financed offers require documents to be submitted and approved and reviewed. And they require appraisals as well. Cash offers are very rarely met with appraisals. And cash offers are pretty much cut and dry. You know, you get the inspections done and it's pretty much done. We're just waiting on the title company and the closing date to come. And that, that's it for cash deals. Whereas financed offers, you know, there's a little bit more work that needs to, to happen to make that deal happen and to get that loan approved. And uh, when we're looking at financed offers, we're looking at how much is being financed. You know, the more cash down, typically the stronger the buyer. So if we're looking at a financed offer, we're going to see you know, how much are they putting down? How much are they, how much are they financing? And uh, that's going to help determine which offer gets accepted in a, in a cash, in a multiple offer situation as well. You want strong escrow, you want tight time periods. You don't want to ask for things that you don't need if you're a buyer, because you don't always know that there's multiple offers. You won't always know if there's multiple offers and you won't always have an opportunity to negotiate or present a different offer. So my suggestions to buyers, buyers that are looking at homes and they know that there's a ton of activity and there's, there's a ton of competition, put your best foot forward. Make sure you make that first offer your best offer because you might not have a chance to resubmit. You might not have a chance to, to, to get a second whack at it. So make sure you're putting your best foot forward if you're a buyer and, uh, you know, don't don't get discouraged if you miss out on one or two. I've seen it where, you know, buyers have lost out on a couple homes because other offers were better. But, you know, they, they found something that was just as, if not more suitable to them. So, you know, I, I, I know it can be frustrating for buyers and I know it can be discouraging. But uh, if you've lost out on one or two, uh, don't be discouraged. If you've got an agent that knows what they're doing and is, is working working for you and working with you to get this done and you are putting your best foot forward, don't be discouraged. It'll happen. I promise. It will. You'll get there. And sellers, if you are selling your home and you've got multiple offers, well, good for you. I'm excited for you. It's exciting for sure. And uh, if you got the right guidance, you're definitely going to be sure to, to, to get the right offer. Um uh, reviewed and, and, and approved and uh, hopefully have a super smooth transaction. So if you're a buyer or a seller and you're interested in making a move, you're at the real early stages or, you know, just getting ready to, 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 to do something, feel free to give me a call. I'm more than happy to help in any way I can, provide information, answer any questions, do anything I can to help you make an informed decision. Uh, when you're ready to to make that move, whether you're buying or selling, I am definitely here to help. I am Lisa Jones, broker and owner of Vantage Point Realty. I appreciate your time and I wish you well. Thank you so much for tuning in. See ya.